places now I am mobile that I seem to get to is, uh, yeah, so we have a cow, or a calf, should I say. Moo! No, he's not interested. Anyway, we've got a ground roller to fix. Hello and welcome to another budget and leg it video. Yes, we have this ground roller to fix. I've got a couple of pieces of metal. Um, as soon as I saw it with these kind of things, I don't know if it's just me or whatever, but I just kind of instantly know what I'm gonna do. Now, whether it works or it doesn't is another thing and the plans might change, but instantly I have an idea. So I've got two pieces. There's only one piece here at the minute of five mil plate. So I'm going to cut out this, I'm going to weld that in to repair that section. Then I'm going to put a brand new piece all the way across and weld it in on all four corners. Then I'm going to actually get some angle iron to weld it in across the top and across the bottom to give it that extra support. So this is going to be well over engineered to what it originally was, because what it originally was, was that. So just one uh, five mil. In places we're going to have 15 mil of steel, um, but in most places we're going to have 10 mil. So we're going to double, double it. So what I'm going to do first is just cut out all this bad stuff because there's no point even trying to go near that. So just chop out this, and with that make my new section to repair that panel essentially, and then lay my new piece over. Okay, I finished most of my grinding and stuff, but I just had a kind of a thought, which is kind of a scary thought. The most dangerous job, or one of the most dangerous jobs, if not the most dangerous job on any farm, is to dealing with the slurry. Because there is a lot of methane under there. This is a bomb. And when people agitate it and they don't have the doors open, you can walk into this place and literally instantly drop. Instantly drop. And if, if, if you're in here for a few minutes, you're dead. So that's why it's all ventilated for methane. So, here's me been grinding, setting loads of sparks all the way in and around here, which is seriously dangerous. And I just literally thought of it, like, and I've more or less stopped now. Still need to weld it. So, what I've done is, again, slightly change my mind again, but still this going with the, the same, uh, what I had before. So, I completely cut the whole thing out because... Once I cut the middle out, I saw there was a there was a kind of a big old stress point here. Where is it? It was all cracked there. Look on the weld, and you know it's just just rotten. It's just bad. So might as well replace the whole section. Um, and before I did that, I just put this section over there, and I got my holes. I've got 20 mil holes in there because these are really big bolts but someone has welded this on the inside so he's gonna have to get a new plate but essentially that you can see that fits in there so that's good you know we got that lined up so all I got to do now is line that up weld that on I was thinking about putting another plate on top but I don't think I need it now um, I was only going to do that to reinforce the old plate but this is thicker than the other side that's like four mil, which is weird. This is five mil. So it's stronger than the other side. And especially then when I come to put this on over here, which essentially will give it a lot more strength. I think that's going to be absolutely fine. It's going to be more than strong enough. I've just notched out this because there's going to have to be washers here and I want to weld or stitch weld this to that as well as weld this plate onto there. Um, so yeah, that's going to be my repair. Very simple, nice, straightforward, neat. Obviously, stitch weld it in there too. And then put that back on top, stitch weld that all on, and I think it's going to be sorted. My Fronius Transteel 220 in the wild, beneath or beside highly flammable um, hay. And slurry. What's the worst that can happen? Oh yeah, big bottle of gas here as well. Anyway, 
so you can see just the weld that it makes is a beautiful so i've kind of got this on a little bit i need to stitch it all the way across here and then stitch that on there and she's golden right look at the nice weld we are getting like i said we are in literally a cow shed full of shit this welder couple of things is just awesome about it well, there's lots of things but these things really do stand out so this is the fronius trans steel 2200 we are now oh i just put it down to 2.5 just to show you if you was welding until 0.5 we're now welding five mil this is how quick and easy it is look at that that's now five mil done all the settings wire speed amps absolutely everything done it all for me not only that we are running on this wiring system which as you can see is just literally been in this cow shed and just everything conceivable on it this really really thin cable which is just all burnt look at that all been burnt and yet this welder won't pop the fuse the soft start on this welder is just phenomenal and i'm welding five mil steel so it's turned up and yet hasn't popped the fuse or hasn't popped the fuse there just unreal right practically done you see i'm just stitching it so another couple of stitches there maybe two or three and two or three there and it's absolutely perfect it's strong welds are nice i'm pushing and pulling the welds so they all don't look the same at the end of the day this is just a piece of farm equipment if it was more to you know because it was on show you'd be you'd be pulling all the welds or pushing all the roads or whatever you happen to be doing you'd be doing it all the same way to get your welds a lot more uniform but this is just an old roller at the end of the day it doesn't need to look perfect it just needs to work right that's it it's all done all i've got to do now is cut off them bolts there because they've all been welded on for him so we can get new bolts and uh job is done this can be used it's a lot stronger than the other side a lot stronger than the way it was when it was built so there should be no reason why this breaks again um but hey it might but there we go so as always hope it helps please like share comment and subscribe don't forget links up here links down below but most important don't forget keep your hands dirty see you for the next one sorted